Okay, this is going to be a quickie, and the reason that I'm showing the over-the-head shot is so you can see I have a three-monitor setup, so what I'm saying can apply to multiple monitors as well. I'm going to talk about using tabs, using multiple tabs in a Chrome browser. I highly recommend Google Chrome. Most of the time, that's the browser that I use. Right now, you're seeing craigship.com, my website, and you can always find a link to my Twitter and my YouTube and my other content on craigship.com. But you'll also see over to the left here, small tabs. This one all the way to the left is my Gmail. And that's called a pen tab. When you go to a particular tab, I'm going to go to the uh, Sony Alpha Rumors site here. If I right mouse click on this tab, I can make it a pen tab. And that makes it a small tab and takes it all the way over to the left. And all the pen tabs are together on the left. And let's see if I can unpin. Yeah, I can unpin the tab. Now it's gone back to a normal full-size tab. The reason I like the pen tabs is they take up less real estate. So here in my pen tabs, I've got Gmail, and I use pen tabs for the things that I use often, okay? So I've got Gmail, I've got Google+, and by the way, that animated GIF that you're seeing there, that's Audrey Schurer, the host of Hooping Live Monday nights at 9 p.m., that's her riding the Segway when she came and visited here at the Sun and Fun Resort. And that's an animated GIF that if you shoot a series of photos and upload them to Google+, Google will make an, an animated GIF out of them. And it's kind of a cool tool. And then the next tab is my Twitter. And twitter.com slash Craig Ship. So I can check my Twitter very quickly. Next tab is Amazon, which... I wish I'd never become an Amazon Prime member because this is definitely costing me money. I spend too much money on Amazon Prime, but I get the item in two days. This is a lens that I'm looking at for my Sony uh, A7R, so considering that one. Next tab is Netflix, which I watch Netflix, another time waster. Next tab is Facebook, which I use fairly often because I distribute my content on Facebook, my photos, my video clips. By the way, I'm going to N Nokomis Beach tonight, and um, this young lady is going to be there dancing and so forth, and others will be there dancing, and I'll be making a video. So um, I'll be distributing that also on my Facebook page. There's another friend, Melissa Bailey, great singer out of New York. Melissa, She goes by Melissa B. Definitely check her out. Next tab is... Flickr. And again, I distribute a lot of my photos. This is a test photo that I took with the Sony A7R with the new Zeiss 24-70 FE f4 lens. And one nice thing about that lens is it has optical steady shot, the Sony's version of stabilization, which works really well. So that was a test shot I did. I'm really impressed with that camera and lens combination. Very compact, much more compact than my Nikon D700 with the 24-70 to zoom. And I think just as good for event coverage. I'm going to find out because I'm going to use it as one of my cameras tonight at Nokomis uh, Drum Circle. Next tab is YouTube. And, of course, I use that for my videos and so forth. And you can see some of my videos there that I've recently uploaded. Then the next tab is Picasa, and this one is another animated GIF. A couple of the uh, promotional models at an event here in Sarasota having some fun with the Segway. They were there helping promote Jim Bean, and that was her idea to slap the other one on the butt. Not mine, by the way, uh, but they're just having fun. And again, I upload this series of pictures, and Google makes an animated GIF out of it. The next tab is TweetDeck, and here I can click on the Tweet window, and I can send a tweet out to multiple Twitter accounts. You see I have four times 20 some odd Twitter accounts that I can send a tweet out to simultaneously using this tool. So the reason I'm sharing all this is how much time do you waste closing tabs and reopening them and so forth? Just leave the tabs open for the things you use often. Here's my Sarasota website, choosesarasota.com. It's in a tab. Here is um, an article I did on the Nokomis Beach drum circle in a tab. Here is uh, frederick.com in a tab. Uh, I'm going to go to the skieries to cover an event there tomorrow afternoon, water skiing show. And so I've got their website in a tab right now. 
And if I close Google Chrome, I've got my Google Chrome set up so that it remembers the previous tab. So when I reopen it, it opens up with all the tabs that I had open previously. So again, it saves time. I don't have to relaunch all these websites. It's much more efficient for me to just tab Facebook, Flickr, Google+, my Gmail inbox, and just toggle from one thing to the other. So keep that in mind. Uh, don't waste time closing websites out and having to relaunch them and so forth. Keep the websites that you use often in tabs. Make sure you've got enough RAM in your computer so that it can run multiple tabs without any real problem. And I think you're going to find that you're going to save a lot of time. So share in the comments of this video the ways that you save time when you're uh, browsing the web and doing work on your computer. There's a little signal I just got. There's a notification. See, now I know there's a notification. And if I go here, there's another comment on my post about the A7R. So I'll just click and I'll right away go and check out that comment. I deal with these things right away just so I can put them behind me. And uh, let's see, somebody commented, I would love for this to be on sale again. It was briefly on their Facebook page for email. Distortion, a non-issue with all the tools that are available in post. Hard to believe it's even discussed. The desire to get perfect results, S-O-O-C or vanity, okay. Yeah, he's basically commenting on this lens, this, um, I think it's called Rockinon, Rock, Rockinon, it's a, 14 millimeter f 2.8 lens for my Sony a7r and which I got recently and I did a review on and some people complain about distortion but he's making the comment that that can be easily corrected in post and actually the distortion depending on what you're taking a photograph of is not that bad but anytime you go 14 millimeter that wide an angle of view you're going to get some distortion in most cases uh, so that's what he's commenting about so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up and again, thanks very much for watching, and please follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash craigship. Keep an eye on my website. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash area cable. And next, until next time, we will see you later.